There are a lot of stereotypes in the gay community that those of us that are gay might be trying to fight a lot of the time. One of them is that all gays are promiscuous. Another of them is that all gays are HIV positive or have AIDS. And another is that all of us exist in open relationships with the person that we are with. I myself have a boyfriend that I've been with for the past about three years. We do not have sex with other people. We do not fool around with other people. We both made it clear to the other that that was what we wanted when we first started basically talking and dating and right away we were clear that we were serious with each other and we had this amazing connection and men do bond very very differently than I believe men do with women and and women do with women and for men and women I I see them lie to each other a lot I think that men and women have a little bit of a hard time understanding each other but with men the connection is stronger and deeper and I I love connecting with other men and I love having guy friends and I had a few female friends throughout my years and there's a reason for that it's because I don't connect with them as well most times like there's, there's a couple of female friends that I've had that it's like they're into guy stuff so for some reason that works out better for me but it is too bad that guys can be overly sexually forward straight guys can be overly sexually forward too but I've seen gay guys that don't really take no for an answer I've had a couple of stalker problems of say one kid that was in my swim class that actually a boyfriend I was with cheated on me to go down on him and he kept coming up to me over and over and over again asking me like the exact same questions hey you going to Michelle's party hey you going to Michelle's party like every single time he would see me just the same question just the one time because he didn't know what else to say to me and he wanted to make an excuse to talk to me and he'd follow me and mind you this is after my boyfriend already cheated on me with him so he figured out that I was and he was trying to figure me out like I was gonna change my mind if he kept talking to me He was such a weirdo and I didn't like that at all some people are overtly persistent and they don't know when to back down as if assuming that you're going to be attracted to them. I have been in five relationships. This is my fifth one that I'm in now. My first three were in someone closer to my age and my this last one and the one that I'm with now were both a bit older. And I found that with the older people, they want to settle down. They want to be in a serious relationship. They are fighting to keep the relationship together while the younger guys were fighting to break the relationship up after a period of time. They want to have fun for a while. They want to have some experience. And then it's as if they cheat just to, I don't know, move on and try somebody else or something. Like they don't really have a reason, but it happens unfortunately. In my experience, if the person is in their 30s, they a lot of the time they just kind of want to settle down by then and guys that are in their early 20s or younger than that they, they're not gonna want to settle for anything and just because I was at a place in my life where I wanted the real thing doesn't mean that everybody else was even if they said that they were that's something that can be hard to find but it's out there and it's it's easy to pick up the signs when you know how to pick them up